Yeah, I know Hyther is very capable of playing Rygon too. Another thing Hyther plays that we haven't seen in a while is a Shifu. The Shifu could also come out, but we, we've seen like been a was, very rare pick. Yeah, Shifu's been very scarce. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know, but we got the draft ready. Oh, it's ready to go. Draft. It's ready to go. We did it. We bought time. We bought the time, <laughs> and we got ourselves map four. Rooks. No rooks anywhere. Yep, that, no rooks. not allowed. Uh, smart, smart play, Sai. Sai realizing, hey, uh, we took out Hythar's rook and we won that game, so let's keep doing that. Yeah, that, that seems to be the play, right? It's like what we were talking about. Get rid of the rook and you will uh, have a little bit more success against Hythar. The Rukon didn't look nearly as good. We're going to see the Iva first okay. pick for the Beast Hunter. Sai running back with the Rygon as per usual. I wonder if the Beast Hunter are going to pick Rygon now too or if they will instead pick Ulrich. I would... I think you probably pick Ulrich. Maybe, maybe you pick. You gotta pick your melee here because you can really box in Hythar. Yeah, yeah. I think the melee pick makes a lot of sense. Oh, they do go Ulrich. All right, an old door on the side of Sai. So similar play there, but how does the second ban come in for Sai? Yeah, this second ban. I, I feel like it will probably be the Rygon. Uh, the Rygon makes a lot of sense here, uh, especially taking into account the way Hythar wants to play. Um, that's why I was. That's why I didn't agree with the Ulrich pick right now because I think you have to try to enable Hythar as much as possible. Yeah. Uh, on the other side, the Beast Hunter. I wonder what they're gonna ban out. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe the Jumong here. The Jumong. Jumong or Iva? Yeah, probably the Iva. Actually, I think you can let them have the Jumong. Too much utility. But the Juju Jumong and Shifu. Interesting. Yep. Yeah, the Shifu ban. It makes a lot of sense. Hyther is really good at that character. Okay. Maybe, like he's probably one of the best Shifus in North America, if not the best. Him yeah. and Him and Proster come to mind when I think of the best Shifus. Um, There's a force him into Rygon here. No, he picks up Thorn. Okay. Thorn. So Thorn against Rygon. We talked earlier how we don't really like that matchup for Thorn. Yeah. Uh, I think he kind of struggles in that in that aspect. And Iva being picked up by Sai. I really was hoping, uh, as you were, for the Iva ban. Just too much utility that Iva brings to the team, yeah. especially coupled with both Rygon and Eldor. Yeah, I think the Iva is really good against the Thorn too, especially with the Rygon, just because you can cleanse off the entangling roots and things like that. Yeah. And just very good at enabling Arcadian, which is seems to be the, what Psy needs to do. They need to just make sure so Arcadian can trade successfully, and the Iva pick perfectly does that. Yeah, absolutely. I it feels it feels. What do you, what do you feel about this? It feels pretty even to me. I, I think that I think that Psy has slight advantage just because of Rygon versus Thorn. Other than that, though. Yeah, I I think it's really hard to say. The Beast or not the Beast Hunter, but Young Sung really surprised me earlier with the Thorn Rygon. I didn't think it would look as good as it did. Yeah. Um, but it looked really strong. And the Beast Hunter, it might look just as strong with. We'll see if. Um, Inflamed and Hyther are able to play like Jeter and Ninjas did, or rather uh, Ninjas and Rare Peep. It I was very successful, so. Yeah. But you gotta be a Rare Peep Thorn, and Rare Peep has a really good Thorn. So. Yeah, the things you gotta do if you're on the side of the Beast Hunter is you gotta understand you just might need to seed mid sometimes, and you need to get the orbs. That's how we saw Young Sung be successful with this Thorn pick, and if you're able to just get orb after orb and find good engages off the back of it, you could take this game. And I do like I do like having Iva uh, for Dope. Dope is super good on Iva. And I think I think it just it helps. Beast Hunter, this is a very like be able to get in, get out together and try to do as much damage as possible without sacrificing a lot of health yourself. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. yeah. It, so. it is a very much, this comp is very much about flow, going in and going out together and understanding how your allies want to play. And that's one of the reasons it looks so good on Young Sung. The Beast Hunter, I'm not sure they're to the point Young Sung is in terms of team play. This is going to be the test. This will be the test. Sai have taken it to map four. They got to take this one as well and try to force map five against the Beast Hunter, who have looked very strong up until this point against this Sai squad. They went 6 and 0 in their groups in the regular season. Didn't even have to play in the decision round. Went straight on to the playoffs and the finals. And now they're here trying to close out against Sai to get to the finals against Young Sung. It's a tough road for both of these teams. And here we go, ITF. What an epic story. Here what, we go. what an epic lead up into an epic match. This is going to be very important. This is like largely a proving ground for both of these teams. Hi there. He was a player that we looked at a lot in season one. We, and when I say we, uh, me and Findable Carpet expected yeah. him and his team to make it to the land. They fell short. They do not want to fall short this season. Hi there has a lot to prove. Well, hi there. Already feeling some pressure here, but Arcadian actually taking a little bit of damage here early. And now stunned out Arcadian being bullied up here against Inflamed. Inflamed wants to get some revenge on Arcadian as Inflamed got bullied the last round. 
the Beast Hunter. They have an HP advantage, Jorby. This orb is going to spawn. We'll see who ends up getting it. It is Psy, but still the advantage is on the side of the Beast Hunter. Arcadian, he's not doing so hot. Arcadian did get a little dam little bit of damage off on the Hythar, yeah. but Inflame going to play aggressive. Machine Gun already coming out on the side of Unimportant. And the time travel coming in to try to get the stun. He does get it. The follow-up from Arcadian, not a lot of damage. Gets the second stun, but there a lot more could have been done there on the side of Psy. With the machine gun coming out from the blue Iva, but Dope is going to throw it right into the bubble of Dex Dexarian. Okay. Even, even though the Beast Hunter get the orb, they're down a character. Yeah, down. Uh, your characters are more important than the orb, unfortunately. But the Dead Root's going to come out. Can they get any kind of trade here? Trying to stick together both Hythar and Inflame. Do get the stun, but then stunned in return. Just trying to keep them away. If they could find some way to get Arcadian down, it could be big for them, but a lot of damage coming out the shield. Just keeping alive Hythar. Yeah, hi there. He does manage to make it out, but he's only got 33 HP and Inflame's only on 40. This is not looking so good for the Beast Hunter. And as we say that, Inflame falls. Yeah, so good place by Sai. Sai looking strong here early here against the Beast Hunter. And it, it looked at the very start of the round, Arcadian took a bunch of damage. Yep. Had to, had to try to reset. He reset and able to trade that damage against Inflamed. And Inflamed, again, I, we saw this in the last map. He was taking a lot of damage early. Mm -hmm. He was taking a lot of damage early again. Inflamed, you got to be careful. Yeah, Inflame, got to be careful, got to play safe. And we really see it there when he just gets chunked down hard. It's very hard for the Beast Hunter to come back into this round. Yeah. We'll see if they can adjust. We'll see if Inflame can make the adjustment necessary to keep it in the game. And we'll see if Dope can enable his teammates to succeed immediately in playing playing so aggressive. He wants to get aggressive. He wants to find the big stun early. Instead, it's them getting stunned in return. Dexarian oh, getting good. pulled and then stunned. Nice little combo that gets some damage out. Actually, a lot of damage on, on to Dexarian, but on the other side, Dope taking a good amount of damage from Arcadian. And also, uh, Hyther took a ton of damage, too. Yeah, and Psy get the first orb. This is a 30% HP advantage and an energy advantage on the side of Psy. The machine gun from Unimportant deals quite a bit of damage to Inflamed, and this is not looking good for the Beast Hunter, Dorby. And keeps them out of the center, trying to push through the time travel. Does he get a big no? It's just a reposition, maintain center orb control, and try to prevent Beast Hunter from moving on through Arcadian. Wants to get aggressive, pushes one out, and immediately tries to get back. Does get in Captain. and Flame tries to take advantage of it. They do get the orb. Deadroot's coming out, doesn't really get much value. He did get a little bit of damage off the Dexarian, but not more, not as much as he'd like. And there's a lot of pressure being pulled onto Inflamed. He goes down again, and too much pressure from Psy right now. They look really good. Yeah, the Beast Hunter not looking nearly as comfortable as they did earlier on with the Rook comps. The Psy are going to back up and get another orb. The Beast Hunter, it's going to be very hard for them to come back into this one, though Dope does have an ultimate. Dope sitting on an ult. They have to find something soon. Arcadian is pretty low. Dope trying to go in on it, but that time travel is going to get the confirmed kill onto Hyther. That will do it. Psy takes a 2-0 lead. Yeah, Psy are doing a great job both controlling the center and getting orbs and also punishing the Beast Hunter when they try to move, uh, move in and play aggressive. And as a result, they're just taking these rounds very handily. This is not the Psy we saw early on in game one and two. This Psy is looking very, very comfortable. Yeah, and even, even when Psy took a couple of games in those early rounds, Beast Hunter was able to adjust and take those games. They haven't been able to do that in these last two maps so far. Still early in map four for the yeah. Beast Hunter to figure things out. But right now, Psy has completely swung the momentum in their favor. Psy's looking very strong here. Early on, Hyther is trying to go in and get something done, but nothing is going to come out of it. He misses both the intent roots and the pull this is not the start you want from your thorn they do get a couple of uh, a couple of pokes some damage onto arcadian trying to put pressure a big stun on the dexarian you get more damage arcadian. Trying, to, trying to keep arcadian out yeah he's not having as good a time this last or as he did this last game wow what he, a actually, pull. he parry stuns the ultimate from ulrich though very very good play from arcadian they're getting a lot of damage on the flame Flame taking a lot of damage. The machine gun coming out. The dead roots in response to try to box out unimportant unimportant wow. does not care good bye either yeah, hi there. He, um, I hate to do it to the dude, but he does not look nearly as comfortable on any of these characters that aren't Rook. Yeah. This, that Thorn play to go in immediately onto Unimportant to try to get iframe out of the machine gun did not work out for him. He ended up falling immediately after. Maybe a positioning ulti going the other direction would have done better, but as I'm talking about, uh, um, hi there, Unimportant actually goes down in the Beast Hunter. We kind of counted him out in our, the way we were talking, but they definitely don't look out of it. No, they got the trade, which was huge, and some more damage onto Dexarian. and they are definitely not out of this. Inflamed and dope. Trying to get this. That orb gonna go the way the Beast Hunter. 
Oh, that oh, wow. beautiful dodge in flame. That R not allowing the ultimate from Arcadian Ooh. to land. He does take Ooh. so much damage, though. He's got no healing charges, Jorby. Yeah, in flame. Looking for redemption this round. Just barely staying alive. Trying to keep Dope up now. Dope is sitting on a full bar of energy. And in flame as well. Trying to get... He's about half energy as well, so trying to aggress with the blind. He does have a couple of utility to get stuns, and so does Dope. Dope, though, Arcadian just throwing every single ranged charge he had at him. And now he's going to try to aggress onto Dope, immediately forced out. Beast Hunter playing this well. They have to play defensive. They don't have the kind of front line that they would want in this oh. kind of matchup. But that tractor beam isn't going to matter. Does he get out the zap? Just keeping him alive. Trying to get up to the backside. Inflamed gives him the shield as well. The in cap is huge, but it does not matter. Inflamed cannot stay alive. And Psy goes 3-0 right now. Dexarian and Arcadian played that so well. They just held mid and played very comfortable, being very, very cautious of engaging too hard. Arcadian with that safe positioning, not not going in, not diving, recognizing they were in a strong position, held mid, got the orb, and forced um, the Beast Hunter dope and inflamed into this situation where Sudden Death was walking in at them, and then the Dragon Palm just knocking dope out into Sudden Death, forcing the two members of the Beast Hunter to split, winning the round for Psy. Very good play. Very good play indeed. Psy is rolling on Beast Hunter right now. They want to keep this pressure up. Arcadian wants to start things off with a big stun onto Inflamed. He's going to keep things going. The Zap going to keep him in the assault. Beast Hunter mitigate the damage out, and they actually do a bunch of damage. A big stun to Arcadian. Arcadian in a little bit of trouble. He finally gets out. Yeah, he does make it out, but he took quite a lot of damage in the process, and the orb goes to the Beast Hunter. Very good start for the blue team here, as Arcadian is not looking nearly as good as he did in the last round. The stun on the Dexterian. They want to follow up onto it, but he gets stunned in return, Hyther. Now pushed out. Hyther taking some damage, but Arcadian stunned out again. Dope doing a good job pulling him out, and a pull gets Rygon down. Beast Hunter say, that's enough, Psy. Slow down. We're still in this game. Yeah, hi there. Looking so much better than he did in the past couple rounds. Having a huge impact when Arcadian tried to go in on his allies and just negating that pressure from Rygon completely. And they find the kill on Arcadian early as a result of it. And the Beast Hunter, they do have an uphill battle in this, la or in this game for but they are still capable of doing it. Tough for Arcadian there early in the game. Yeah. He was able to get some early damage out and then immediately leap back in. Then as soon as, as soon as he used Heavenly Strike, then the Zap came in. Now you have nothing left. Yep. And then Arcadian took a, dam a ton of damage because of it. So a little too, a uh, little too happy on the aggressive front for Psy, but it's all right. You know what you got to do, and it didn't work out for them that time. Yeah. Sometimes that just happens. Sometimes you just feel yourself too much. Yeah. That, that's the classic Absolutely. case of that right there. Yeah. Arcadian was like, man, these rounds are going so sick for me. I'm just gonna I'm go just in. gonna go. I'm yeah. just going. Yeah. It's so easy as Rygon too to just like I have all of these things. But Beast Hunter able to take a round, I'm trying to fight back in this map. Doing some more damage on the Dexterian. The Barbed Tusk going to keep Python from taking a lot of damage, then entangling Unimportant, trying to keep him out of it. A big in-cap onto Arcadian. He's in a little danger. Staying right on top of him is inflamed. So good play here. But oh, as soon as I say that, the Zap coming in and just wanting to get aggressive is Hyther, but he took a ton of damage as well. The orb popping up here for, or not popping up, excuse me, the orb going the way of Beast Hunter. Yeah, the ultimate is available on Hyther. We'll see if he's able to get anything with it. He tries, he's trying to get the ultimate out of Dexterian, and he will. His dead roots, though, not going to hit anything. The pull onto Dexarian, though, forcing out the time bender. The space is used as well, and the Beast Hunter, they take that orb, and the cooldown rotational inside of Psy is far behind. A lot of damage pulling out right now. Does he get the stun here? He does find That's the big. stun. More damage on Arcadian. Arcadian actually had the wall to protect him there from taking more big damage from a rocket over from Dope. Dope, he's trying to go back and pressure Dexarian. And speaking of pressure, Hi there is trying to get in there and get some of it of his own. Oh, what shields? <laughs> very, very good shielding. So many shields. The orb is going to go to the Beast Hunter too. And Dexarian, he uses his own ultimate, but not before he goes down to 10 HP. The Beast Hunter, they're looking good, Jorby. Beast Hunter looks so good right now. And they actually take out Arcadian with a blind to the face from Inflamed. And then they're going to oh. get Old Door. Dexarian, see ya. And the last man left, unimportant Beast Hunter pull within one. Yeah, and they looked really good these last few rounds. I've been watching Hi there very closely because I feel like he's the focal point for his team, and the way he's playing is very smart. I feel like what he was doing wrong earlier er, in the earlier rounds is he was using his barbed husk too freely and not keeping track of his enemy's cooldowns when he used his barbed husk. Like yeah. there were a couple times where he barbed husk and then immediately got machine gunned, or he immediately like started taking rockets and a taser. These last couple rounds, he's been very patient with it, waiting until he absolutely needs to use it, and still staying in and being disruptive. So Hi there doing a great job taking less damage, using his cooldowns more patiently, and having a 
a higher impact because of it. And that's the thing about Thorn is you just have to be more patient as a player just to play Thorn effectively, and he has been doing that. So Beast Hunter trying to tie this game up. Again, if they do end up winning this map, they will move on to the finals to play Young Sung. Oh, the Barbed Husk, though, it's stacked with the Zap here. Ooh, a big bit, stuns again. Yeah. Arcadian, he knocks down bottom to Thorn, but the Beast Hunter are able to get back, and they get the orb, Jorby. They do get the orb. That was a close, close one. They get some more damage as well. Beast Hunter have gotten back into this map in big form. They do a lot of damage to Arcadian. He didn't even leap in before he just took a rocket to the face. And now going in, Hythor wants it. The time travel is there. Does get the big stun, turning right on to... Arcadian, oh god, he gets absolutely shredded by dope. In the meantime, the machine gun coming out from unimportant and having just as high an impact as inflamed wow. actually dies inflame goes down big damage out can they get the trade the dead going to come in but not a lot of damage on the unimportant so now he's going to try to bro he wants unimportant right now he is hungry for it he gets stunned him. down dope is bailing him out right now the oh. double stun tractor beam going to keep him alive for now he's leaps away in danger dope wants this kill he's trying to go in on him he the rocket got missed he missed all of his abilities but Hythor still in front he has no health left unimportant gets the greens and they get the orb and size stays alive. Dude, you could have sneezed on Unimportant and he'd die there, but two M1s were missed by Dope and the rocket didn't hit. Very unfortunate there as that kill was very much within reach. Sai looking like they're going to secure the round because of it. He's getting so low. Is un or high there is Thorn and he will fall. He will fall. Dope by himself. It is too tall of an order to ask, and Psy takes it to match point, threatening map five. Yeah, and if they go to this map five, I can't help but feel like all momentum is on their side, and the yeah. Beast Hunter won't be able to stand ground. But Dexarian looking very good this round, flexing that gold number. 1,200 in comparison to the 800 and 700 of his allies. It's a couple. Yeah, that's, that's maybe 500 more. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, no big deal. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a misplay there by the Beast Hunter, I think. Um, Dope, he uses ultimate, got a ton of damage on Arcadian, but at the same time, the other two members of the Beast Hunter went to ham on Unimportant and got punished as a result. Yeah. You got to focus the same uh, targets with this kind of comp, and it, when you don't, you see what happens. And if you're Dope, as simple as it sounds, you know, mechanics, you got to be able to hit your abilities because you would have been able to... Getting the kill on Dope could have switched the momentum of this game, and you could have tied things up, and now threatening match point. Arcadian taking a ton of damage. The parry comes out to mitigate. Trying to throw it back on to Hyther, but the Barb Tusk is available and he entangles out Dexarian to keep Arcadian pressure. I get the orb, pretty good for him. And the Thorin starting to take quite a bit of damage. The EXQ from Inflamed is going to stop a bit of it, but I'm oh, not Hyther sure. Hyther wants to be careful. Oh. Uh, just not, 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 not a smart play from Hyther there. He wanted to get around the corner there, but his team wasn't there to be able to follow up, and he had no escape either. Okay, they find the kill okay. on Dexarian. Wow, Beast Dexarian. <laughs> what happened to Dexarian? He got pulled. He ate that yeah. pull. Right as wow. you were saying, not a smart play from High there. He cleaned up that round for his team. He's like, I'll Fair show enough. you, Dorby. Yeah. I'll yeah. show you. You don't know anything. You don't know me. You know what, Hyther? You're right. <laughs> you are absolutely right. <laughs> that is okay. Beast Hunter, fight back into it. And you know what? Sometimes that's what it takes. You make a misplay, and then you immediately follow up. Like, don't yeah. worry, guys. I got this. Sometimes you're just like, I'm garbage. I got to play better. Yeah. And then you just play better, and then it works out. And everyone's happy. Yeah. Except for the people you beat. Uh, not si size still feeling good about themselves. Yeah, they, they still one round away. Yeah, their dopamine levels are still at an acceptable yeah. point. Yeah, they're like, all right, guys, let's just reset. It's all right. They are getting good damage onto Thorn. I think it's just trying to – you, you say that Hyther is the focal point of this team. Yeah. And maybe it's just trying to keep forcing Hyther to maybe panic and pop an ability too early or, you know, like first out of a barbed tusk and then punish him for it. So it's difficult right now for Beast Hunter. Sai knows how to play this. They want to force map five right now. Yeah, this is a scary point for the Beast Hunter. They definitely need to take this round or else, you know, game five. Game five. No one wants to be at that game five point either. But wow, all wow. of the shields burnt through. Beautiful usage of abilities from the Beast Hunter, mitigating all of that damage. But Hyther still, he eats quite a chunk. Yeah, there's that pressure onto Hyther. They oh, did the not pull. let up and then the pull back, but doesn't. The orb goes to the Beast Hunter. They do get it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Very surprising. Well, they got to do something with it now. It's burrowing in. Hyther wants it, following it up as. Inflamed, Inflamed taking a ton of oh damage. The machine gun coming out the barbed husk, going to mitigate a lot of it, and he gets out of it. Hyther in so much trouble round. He's lost so much health, and he goes down. Sai are looking so strong right now. They want to force this map five. They're taking Beast Hunter to the limit. They went down in the first two maps. They did not quit. They did not give up, and we're going to map five because of it. Ulrich goes down. The only man left is Dope. He's going to go down, and Sai force map five against the Beast Hunter. In a series of events that I don't think either of us expected, these last two games have gone to Psy pretty convincingly. They're looking very comfortable after banning out that Rook, and we're now at a game five point. 
Un unimportant and the boys are looking very strong and they seem like they have this draft game figured out. Compl uh, all of the pressure is on the Beast Hunter. It is just flipped it and we keep saying it over and over, but I think it just harkens to the importance of it, yeah. that Rook ban. Yeah, that Rook ban's huge. They haven't done anything since Rook has been out of the game. So pigeonholing Hyther seems to be the plan and it seems to be working. Yeah, I wonder if now that instead of waiting on the melee pick, they like pick up a Shifu, like pick two. We yeah. saw the Shifu banned out as the, the second ban from Sai and that 